Hey everyone! Unfortunately, Phil couldn't make it today, so I am his twin brother, Phil, filling in for Phil. The goal today is to show you how to connect your wallet to the Alpaca Dabbers website and download the files you're going to need to follow along in this tutorial video series. So let's dive right in. So once you're at the Alpaca Dabbers website, um, pretty simple to do. You're going to click on downloads. You're going to see a prompt here to connect your wallet. I'm going to connect my MetaMask wallet here. Obviously, we offer a few different options as far as connection. I will need to sign these transactions. I hit connect and um, hit connect again. And once it's connected, you will see everyone that's in your, or the packets that you own. So the 3D packets. So I've got nine different packets here. Um, I think my favorite of this one is probably this alien guy. I'm gonna click on that. Now you're able to take a look at what you've got going on. Just kind of scroll around this asset. But what we're really the most interested in is downloading the Vox Edit files right here. These GLTF 3D model files are great if you wanted to bring this asset into Blender or into Light Tracer. Um, all of the animations are updated and sandbox compatible. So um, you'll have things like a walk cycle, a run cycle, an attack, um, a death. Um, all of those things that are really important for using in other games as well. But um, they're part of the GLTF file. What we want is the Vox Edit file here. This contains the VXRs, the VXMs, and the VXAs. Those are the three key components to um, uh, creating assets and using assets within the sandbox. So all you gotta do is click on download, find a home for uh, that asset, and you're good to go. If you're not familiar with the sandbox, check out the next video. It gives a brief overview of what it is and, and how the metaverse in relationship to NFTs and, and their project works. If you're already familiar with the sandbox and you can jump to the third video, it'll show you how to import this file into VoxEdit and get it prepped and ready to move into GameMaker. Thanks.